Hey guys, welcome back to Wine at the Farm where we are tasting absolutely fantastical wines located at Ella Community Pharmacy in Westfield. I'm Dr. Eric. And I'm Dr. Becca. And today, I am excited for this one. What do we got on the menu? We have the Milbrant Riesling. Ooh. I heard good things from wine enthusiasts about the latest vintage. Um, they rated it in 89. So, All right. I'm a big Riesling fan, super excited. Also, at the end of the video, we've got a fun little thing for you guys for that watch the entire thing. So, other than that, I don't know what else to say except cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, the flavors we should be tasting are a peach, a Granny Smith apple, hints of key lime, Crisp finish with more of a wet stone minerality. How do you think that compares? Spot on. Spot on. Yeah. Before you even said that, I would say this definitely has, I definitely feel like I tasted the apple, like if I had to say what there was, but when you said peach, that really, I feel like I tasted that as well and do feel like the minerality comes out at the end. Yeah, I got the minerality. Crisp, clean taste. Yes. Absolutely. That's one of, I feel like, our favorite I know things we're to both, finish a wine on. Yep, and we're both big Riesling fans, yeah. so yeah, yeah, this is a... Not sweet, off dry. <laughs> Forefront peach with like, just like the apple's kind of like, I don't know, kind of swaying. Yeah. Uh, with the flavor. It blends very well. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah, so the bottle, which is actually super cool, so I don't know if all Milbrandt wines will do this, they have a um, recipe video for you to pair it with. So with this Riesling, they recommend you pair it with their grilled whole, grilled whole chicken and braised beets with this wine. All right, so we'll stay tuned to watch Dr. B uh, cook that for himself <laughs> and then eat it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, probably what? not. But you love chicken. No, but all of you can do that and then let me know how it tastes. You don't love chicken anymore? Oh, no, I do. I don't like beets. I, know. <laughs> I, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> it's fine. Just the idea of her having to do a video eating something like beets. Oh. It'll be we, as good as me trying man, kitchen. Maybe that's what we should do. Like in the middle of the week, it should be Dr. B pairs with, I make the food for you and then you have to eat it and drink the wine of the week. That'd be pretty uh, epic. Ha uh ha. -huh. Mm. I won't like most of it. Ha. Ah, fine, fine. So, what do you think of the wine? Oh, uh, The only reason why I haven't answered or led to that is because I'm still thinking. I would probably... Mm, uh, Just say it. I'm going to give it a four. No real reason other than I feel like we haven't done a lot of Rieslings lately and I have not drank very many Rieslings lately because we've haven't. been focusing a lot on our red portfolio yeah. for our wine club, which is super exciting. Um, but I don't know. I, I can't. I'm, it's good. I would have to agree. I would give it a four only because being like Rieslings being one of my favorites I know like I have like my top favorite Rieslings and this isn't gonna be like my five out of five like favorite Riesling but it's definitely delicious so what is your favorite Riesling mm. um I like my favorite Riesling have to be the Frisk Riesling it's really? always gonna be one of my favorites but the Urban Riesling is right there with it uh, see the Frisk is not one of my top it's one of my favorites it's one of my lower ones it's good it's, it's very a, good. It's I a like it. Bubbly Riesling. But it's just a little on the sweet side for me. Yeah. I still will drink it <laughs> happily. <laughs> this one, I think, maybe in the right circumstance, maybe with a good pairing of food, this could easily like be a Like a grilled five. whole chicken. <laughs> like a grilled whole chicken. Why can't it just be a chicken breast just or just chicken? The whole chicken. The whole chicken. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. And then, what is today? So today is National Daiquiri Day. Ooh. Shout out to my brother-in-law. He 
freaking loves daiquiris. I can't say the last time I've had a daiquiri. Oh my gosh. Sorry. They're really good. <laughs> They're so good. I, oh. Mm. So, in honor of National Daiquiri Day, we are not drinking daiquiris today, but we will have a wonderful daiquiri recipe for you. Yeah, that recipe literally made my mouth water. It's a, a strawberry daiquiri sangria. So, Riesling, frozen strawberries, uh, lime, triple sec, and rum. Wonderful. Oh, it sounded so good. Honestly, I kind of want one. Why didn't we make them? We're not fun. Oh, that makes so sense. So for those of you that are fun, please make them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, I did hear that the tumblers are en route to the store. We will hopefully have a video of them. I hear some lucky people that are part of our wine club may have already even got theirs. So if you don't mind taking a picture and tagging, yourself below that would be wonderful and guys again if you like these videos please like them and you know what even if you didn't like it and you still watch it to the end you should still like the video <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you next time bye